So one of the most useful tools in Photoshop is the uh, automate batch function, which makes use of the actions tool that we just looked at. Uh, and what it'll do is it'll let you create an action and then apply it to an entire folder full of files. So what I've done here is I've collected a folder full of photographs that I wish to import in Photoshop for editing. Um, so I'm going to do ahead. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open one of these. Uh, in now the problem with this is that it's much larger than the workspace I'm currently working with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start creating the action that I'm going to use. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to do create a new action. I'm going to call it photo, and then I'm going to click record. So the process I want to do here is I want to resize this to fit my workspace, copy it, and then paste it into actions.psd where I intend to do my editing. So what I'm going to do is with the photograph selected, I'm going to go to image, image size, right here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change the width to 450 pixels wide because that's the workspace I'm working with right now. Uh, make sure constraint proportions is on because otherwise it will only change the width and leave the height as what it previously was, which will give you a very distorted picture. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Uh, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the entire photo using Control A or Command A on a Mac, and then I'm going to do Control C to copy it or uh, Command C on a Mac. Then I'm going to go into my actions.psd and I'm going to do Control V to paste it. Um, now what I'm going to do uh, as my last measure, I'm going to go back in here and close this window and don't save, just so that way we don't have a bunch of clutter when we're done with this. So I'm going to go ahead and stop now. So I've got all of my actions ready. So then what I do, I go to File, Automate, Batch. Now here you can set which action you want to use. Um, and the folder you're going to do it from. Uh, everything's already set to go here. We've got action, photo, which is the one we just created. Source, I've set source to folder, and I've already chose my sample photos folder. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK with it. If you had a watermark you wanted to copy onto each one of these, or if you wanted to do some cropping or some color adjustment, you could, you could set that into your action as well. But now I've created this Photoshop document with every photo already set to go. So there you have it.